Hey guys, welcome to another home lab video series. In this video, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Um, we're gonna actually create a WordPress server. Now, you're probably like, WordPress? Like what? So many security vulnerabilities, why are we doing this? Um, we're doing it because we're doing having fun. Come on now, that's, that's exactly why we're doing it. Um, but it's also a good thing to kind of like have a WordPress server actually on your home network in case you ever have to support it, right? Like if you're trying to like test or try to, you know, help someone else figure out their own WordPress site, having one that you can internally have and play around with, you know, download whatever plugins, download whatever to kind of mimic something similar. It's like the best thing that you can do when you're learning tech, like, being able to mimic something that's already created is like the quickest way to learn in my opinion because then you have to learn it essentially so we're going to do that in this video so this video is also sponsored by me myself and i so if you enjoy the content want to sponsor me send me some free swag or something of that sort my email is in the description below so check it out all right let's get started guys okay so we're going to actually change it up instead of opening our command prompt we're actually going to open up our code server um why we're doing this there's no in particular reason i just want to use the terminal in the code server as opposed to the command prompt um because copying and pasting feels a little bit cleaner on this um so what we're going to do is actually log into oh it doesn't actually respond like as well as I thought it was going to, from a text perspective. Yeah, maybe, we'll see. We might have to actually use command prompt. Oh yeah, the text doesn't show up. Okay, it doesn't, okay, it doesn't respond as well. It responded better on my other, on, on my other instance, but it doesn't respond well here. So when I, screw that, we're just gonna go back to command prompt, guys. All right. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta wing it, right, you know? Okay, so we got our WordPress server here. Um, so first thing here is we're gonna need to install some packages for WordPress to actually work. Um, the first thing we'll do is actually install HTTPD, which is essentially Apache, um, and then MariahDB for the database. Two easy things to install. So we'll let that install in the background. Um, we'll also set up DNS here real quick, DNS. Edit web IDE, drag in, make sure you update the serial number guys, and WordPress. All right, and then we commit this. Commit, and it's done, all right. Let's look at the stall, see how it's going. Oh, it's still installed. Okay. Well, while that installs, we can do other things too here. We're going to, and actually let me throw this over here while the install goes on the other side. Um, log into our CA server. We'll make the CA server. We'll, so we'll make the directory first. Go to the directory step CA certificate. WordPress.dragon.local is going to be our domain. And then we need to set the key, or uh, uh, the cert, and then the key. Dragon.local.key. And then we need the admin password, so we need to go to our vault warden here. Login. And I don't know why it like requires me to actually like reload it to actually show up. I'm assuming that's a bug, or maybe it's cache thing on my on my browser. I should cap clear that cache maybe, but that's 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 another day's problem. So we'll create key. Okay, so the sets have been created. All right, so now we'll enable the PHP 7.4 module because we want 7.4. Oh, dang, 7.4. Awesome. And then we'll install all these PHP things because this all needs to be installed. So um, I don't know what it all is, but we're going to just install it because that's, that, that's what's needed, right? You, you go through the requirements, <laughs> but in most cases, you probably shouldn't install something that you don't know, but you know, this is, this is a home lab. You, you just do it for the fun of it. Right. And then we will all start HPD, the database and PHP. So while that is started, we'll also make sure we enable the services. So when they do boot up, they are enabled. 
Next thing, what we need to do actually is actually go to our MySQL database and create the database. Um, I, by all means, a non-database person, but I can follow directions and type in some things to create a database, you know? So we're going to create the database and we'll name it WordPress DB. You also have to do the semicolon at the end to say, hey, this is actually the end of your whole statement. So if you missed that, it's a bad day. <laughs> it will actually air. Then we need to create the user that will have access to this database and we'll name it Word, WordPress user. Um, and then we'll also name where it can connect from. So in this case, it's, everything's all on the same host so they can connect from localhost and then identified by, and then the password. In this case, we're just gonna say WordPress user password. You should name this an actual password and not WordPress user password for security concerns, but I'm doing this for the demo. Now that is also okay. So now we need to grant um, privileges, everything on WordPress to allow WordPress user access to this database. And then we need to flush the privileges. And then we're good. We can exit and don't have to touch any more DB stuff unless I screwed something up. Um, next, we'll go to HTML. This has nothing in it. We're actually going to grab the latest WordPress and tar file and I'll put it here. So let it grab. So now you have the tar file. So we are extract it. So now we have the WordPress directory in this. And you can see, you know, there's, there's a lot of PHP files and, and other things. What we're actually going to do is grab the sample config and we're going to just name it the config.php. So in this config.php, there's a few things that we want to edit. Um, the main things are the database connection. So the database name, we named that WordPress DB. So WordPress DB, the username. WordPress user, WordPress user, and the password. Ooh, make sure you keep that, that single quote. WordPress user password. Hopefully I didn't type that in wrong. If I did, that is going to suck. Okay, and then you save that. Don't need to change anything else. Those are the only things you need to change. So now you can see how, because I unpacked it, the permissions are a little bit weird. It's like nobody, nobody. What we want to do is make sure that the permissions are accessible by Apache, which is the user that HTTPD runs as. So we'll want to change the permissions and make sure var www HTML WordPress. And the hyphen R means recursively, so everything but underneath this directory will also get it. And we'll just want to just, um, change the modification um, to everything 755. WordPress. All right, so now that we got all that squared away for WordPress, we need to make sure, hey, we can actually hit it on like 80 and 443. So the first configuration we're gonna actually do is the 80 configuration. So we're gonna set up a configuration and you can set it up in the httpd conf.d um, and we're gonna name the configuration wordpress.conf. So we'll set the 80, port 80 configuration here. Um, essentially this says, hey, the server name, if it comes on wordpress.dragon.local, we're gonna use the document root of WordPress, what, who can access it and where the logs will go to. Um, but why would we just do HTTP when we do HTTPS, right? So what we're actually going to do is install mod SSL, fun stuff. And while that installs, we are going to copy the certs over to the server. Uh, 192.161.142. Yes. Okay. So we don't need that anymore. All right. So now that we have that, by default, sch.db.conf.d, there will now be an SSL file in here. So what we're going to do is update this SSL file. So the document root we're going to update because this is, should be WordPress right here. Our domain server name will be wordpress.dragon.local. Make sure you uncomment the hashtag so it's not commented. SSL engine is on, so it's gonna actually get some SSL sets. And then we need to update the set locations. So in this case, you can see how it says in this, 
you can put the cert in here too where we moved it but i'm lazy so i'm just gonna use root slash wordpress dot dragon dot local dot set and then we need to add the key also also again kind of lazy so i'm not gonna move that and i'm just gonna update it here root dot wordpress dot dragon dot local dot key and that should be i believe it um if it's not we'll we'll rent an error and then we'll fix it so now that we've added all that, we do systemctl restart um, httpd. And I'm assuming it's going to work. If it isn't, well, I'm going to be sad. But it is running, so that's, that's always a good sign. So now we can go to our browser, lovely browser, wordpress.dragon.local on HTTPS. And you can see our cert was taken correctly. Valid cert, we, got, we, we did it. We did it, guys. It works. So then you get the web GUI to go through the install of setting up your WordPress for the first time. So we'll click continue on English, but if your desired language is not English, you can select any other language too. Um, in this case, we'll just leave the site title WordPress. You can name it anything you want. We'll have the username and the password. So actually we're gonna go back to our vault ward and we'll, we'll add this in here because I don't know if I'll ever need this ever again, but if I do, it's good to know, right? So we'll have this. It also generated a random password for you, so you, I'm just going to use the random password. It's totally fine, no biggie. Save that in there. And then you need an email. Obviously, the email doesn't need to be legit, but you could put whatever you want in. Then you got install WordPress. Awesome. So now you get a login here. Now, if you didn't copy your password and you totally don't know what it is, you're going to have to go through the, re go through the install. But in this case, I did copy it. And there you go, guys. That is how you install WordPress. So you can play around with it. Um, if you already know how to use WordPress, you can obviously create your own website, create your own post, create your own media, do whatever you want. Great learning ground, just kind of play around with. Um, if you don't know, I'm maybe make a video later on how to actually use WordPress. We'll see, I'm not much of a web designer myself, but you occasionally might, might just play around with it, but probably not. But if you are interested, you should you should leave it in the comments below. So there you go, guys. Now you've installed a WordPress server. Go do your blogging. Go do your posts. Learn about WordPress. Have some fun. Install some plugins. So if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.